Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CrO2. So there's only two elements here. Let's just map them on the periodic table. The first one is Cr, which is chromium. And chromium is over here on the periodic table. It's part of the transition metals. So it is a metal, right? Transition metal, metal, right? So that's a metal. And then oxygen, which is over here all the way to the right-hand side, that's non-metal territory. So oxygen will always be a non-metal. Now let's start naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So CR for chromium, it's going to stay chromium. Chromium. Yep, I think I spelled that right. And then the non-metal always gets the I-D-E ending. So it was oxygen, but now it will turn into oxide. So I got to get rid of this Y-G-E-N and just put oxide. Okay. Now, since it is a ionic compound, we just have to make sure, do we use a Roman numeral or not? But we do here because chromium is in the transition metals. So I do need a Roman numeral. You need Roman numerals for transition metals. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. But how are we going to find that out? It's pretty simple. We're going to take the subscripts and crisscross them back up to find out what the charges are. There was one chromium and two oxygen. This one crisscrossed up telling me that oxygen is a negative one and non-metals gain electrons, they become negative. And then the two crisscrosses up, right, to the chromium telling me that that was a plus two. But now you just have to do a check. Does this, can, you know, does this make sense? Well, oxygen always wants to be a negative two. It's in the negative two group for oxidation trends, but it's a negative one here. But I can fix that by multiplication. If I just times this by two, I can get the negative two. But I got to be fair. Whatever I do to this, I have to do to the other one. And plus two times two is a plus four. That is the charge of chromium. So I'm going to put a four Roman numeral here, which is like an IV. And finally, you are done. So CrO2 is chromium four oxide. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, press the subscribe button, okay? We got physics videos. We got math videos. We got, obviously, chem videos. So go check our channel out, all right? Thank you for coming here and viewing this video. I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.